We're going to be using this Capri 50 condensing unit from Frigiboat air cooled to illustrate the effects of low voltage caused by thin wiring or high resistance connections, bad breaker, anything uh, that could cause a problem between the battery and the connection to the power coming in to the controller right here. Uh, we've got a power supply here which is giving out 12.2 volts. Imagine this as the meter on your panel that you're looking at the DC voltage. It's uh, not very bright here, but uh, hopefully you can see that 12.2 volts. What we're going to do is to hook up another voltmeter, and we got a, uh, this one here is our multimeter, and put it on to the incoming power so that we can monitor the voltage right at the terminals on the compressor when the compre compressor tries to start. It's very important that you monitor it at the moment when the compressor tries to start. So let's turn on the system and on a boat it would be turning on the breaker or turn on the thermostat or if you're in the cockpit locker and with your meter down there, um, you'll have to unplug one of these thermostat leads and plug it in while you're watching your meter. So here we've got a thermostat and we'll turn the system on and immediately if you watch this, your meter here, you'll see that there. It's gone down to over under nine under ten volts, and it's still 12.2 on the main uh, voltmeter on your panel. So you wouldn't see that dip in the voltage when the compressor tries to start. The standard low voltage cutout is 10.4 volts. So anything below that, the system will shut down, and the system will go through a cycle of about 60, 90 seconds. In an air cool case, it will run the fan, so it could be that you're thinking that the compressor's running at that point, but it's not. It's just the, the fan that's running and the compressor is sitting idle. Every, uh, as say, 60 to 90 seconds, the system will try and restart again, and if the same thing happens again, then it'll sit there and keep going through that routine. So that means that you, you hear the fan running and then stopping and running and stopping, but the compressor is never running. So it's very important that you measure and monitor that voltage right at the terminals on the compressor, no matter what the voltage says on your meter, as you can see there. There's another good illustration. Down below 10 volts, shuts off, and immediately comes back up again. So if you monitored it any other time than when the compressor tries to start, then you will see good voltage. Now, if you have a diagnostic LED installed, like this one that uh, you can buy from Coastal Climate Control, it's simply a 12-volt LED that plugs into the positive or, and the D terminal on the controller uh, and we have one here already installed the yellow wire is on the D terminal and the red is a piggyback that can go either on the fan positive or the main positive coming in and here is the LED here just a very small LED you can uh, mount it somewhere so you can just check it if you think there's a problem and it's flashing once every five seconds which tells us it's a low voltage condition and that is very reliable these don't lie the one flash every five seconds, low voltage. So now we have the Merlin 2 compressor speed controller plugged in in place of the speed board we had before. Uh, and you can see it has two LEDs on the top. One is for the compressor speed, the green LED, and the red one is the fault LED. Both of them flashing once, which means that the compressor speed should be on the lowest speed, one out of six. And the red flashing we know is because there is a problem with the voltage somewhere. On the top we have an extra uh, circuit board, it's just to replicate to give us extra terminals on the positive and negative so we can um, gain more terminals. And here we have the Guardian too, uh, if you can see that, and that also has a fault LED on it as well as a manual compressor speed control. Because of this now we can put our test leads on for our meter a lot easier than before, a lot more options for putting those on and now we can see again we saw that voltage going down below 10 volts and at least below 10.4 and it stops starts again and all the time the meter on our panel shows good voltage and nothing happens with the Guardian here the display that we're seeing for the temperature control